that Honda Magic and inexpensive and painless ownership experience does not an enticing car make. However, throughout its history, the Civic has set itself apart by being more than just an appliance, with energetic power trends and a high fun to drive factor. That part of its personality had begun to fade in the most recent generations, but it's back in full force now. Dot riding on Honda's front wheel drive platform shared with the latest Accord and CRV. The 10th generation Civic is a satisfying return to sporty yet accessible dynamics. Its logbook quickly filled with compliments about the driving experience. Impressive Civic, sharp steering, firm brakes, comfortable ride quality, turbo thrust, and great fuel economy, wrote Deputy Online Editor Dave Vanderwerp early in the Honda's tenure. The new turbocharged engine offered potent performance with an impressive 6.9 seconds 0 to 60 mile per hour time that dropped to 6.7 seconds, the same as a manual transmission Civic C sedan. When we tested the Civic at 40,000 miles, while we've bemoaned numerous CVTs over the years for their droning, unresponsive natures, this transmission type is at its best when matched with torquey turbo engines that don't require a trip all the way up the tachometer to unlock some verve. Numerous staffers praise the Civic's quick-witted and linear CVT, with reviews editor Joshua Quo going so far as to say, this is one of the best CVT, four-cylinder combos on the market today. Combined with its aforementioned 35 mile per gallon average, and several 40 plus MPG stints on highway trips. This powertrain is a convincing sign that Honda has adapted its engineering know-how to the turbo era, despite the company's long history of high revving, naturally aspirated engines. On paper, the Civic seemed ready for our technology-obsessed times, too. Our top trim touring model had a full load of advanced features, including navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, adaptive cruise control, lane-keeping assist, forward collision warning automated emergency braking, and Honda's Lane Watch side camera system. But Honda should have focused more on quality than quantity in this area. The majority of negative comments in our Civic Slog book focused on either the frustrating operation of the infotainment touchscreen and its accompanying touch capacitive controls or the questionable calibration of the active safety features included in the Honda Sensing package that bundles the above safety features. Honda Sensing is standard equipment on touring models like ours but costs $1,000 extra on lesser Civics. We found workaround solutions to these irritating features, meaning that we figured out ways to avoid using them entirely. Plugging in our smartphones to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto eliminated the need to navigate the convoluted menu structure of the infotainment system, while a long press of the gap adjust button on the steering wheel deactivated the cruise control's adaptive function in favor of good old trusty normal cruise control. So, we wouldn't recommend optioning your Civic with these costly extras. In fact, while we genuinely liked the car and enjoyed our experience, we wouldn't recommend choosing a Civic Touring sedan like our $27,335 test car, as several more enticing combinations now exist within the Civic lineup. Our middle of the road, automatic transmission sedan grew less appealing as other versions of the Civic paraded through our parking lot including the Civic Sport hatchback and the Civic C Coupe and sedan. Both of these have the same great turbo engine with even more power, 180 horsepower in the Sport and 205 in the C, and they come standard with an involving six-speed manual transmission that makes even this likable CVT seem dull by comparison. What we like, continuously variable automatic transmissions have long been derided around here, but the tide is turning some. Thanks to powertrains like the 1.5 liter turbo inline 4 slash CVT combination in our long term Hamda Civic. In fact, this torque rich drivetrain has earned praise from several corners. Reviews editor Josh Equo proclaimed the Civic to be home to one of the best CVT four cylinder combos on the market today, while testing director Don Sherman said that this transmission's pluses, instantaneous power surges for passing and smooth, shiftless operation, far outweigh its minuses such as occasional high RPM droning. The small displacement turbo four-cylinder also lives up to its billing by delivering consistently stellar fuel economy. Our average dipped a bit during the winter but still sits at a miserly 34 miles per gallon overall, 
and we've seen tank ever age fuel economy as high as 41 miles per gallon on highway trips.